All right, guys. So welcome back to the next, I guess, episode of the Night Shift Body Art Talk. Today, I have a very highly requested guest. And um, yeah, I haven't seen her talk to me at all. So uh, this is my very good buddy, Alexis, all the way from Florida. How are you doing today? Pedro, I'm doing awesome. It's so good to see you and catch up. It's been a really long time. <laughs> no, so how are you? Good, good. I'm, I'm just, you know, just trying to uh, do too much and not have enough time. <laughs> I got it. Trust me, I'm with you there. <laughs> yeah. And um, so it's been three years since we last seen each other and it doesn't feel like it. It does not. I think uh, kind of COVID plays a part in that, but yeah, time did kind of go three years. To a different one. Yeah, three years. And I was mentioning earlier, <laughs> like you look like an adult though. Grown woman doing the damn thing. So uh, it's cool to see because I was I was talking about this to you earlier and I was like, wait, we've only hung out three times only. And and everyone's like probably wondering, wait, what? <laughs> three times. And I'm probably about to know more about you now than I did in those three times because that those three times were mostly about the projects. I want everyone to know a little bit about you. So if you may um, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, the interests you have and uh, what you're up to. Yeah, sure. So um, yeah, I'm Alexis. Hello. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't go by Lexi or Alex siblings too close for comfort. Don't ask me why. But yeah, it's Alexis. My nickname, if you have to, is Ace. Um, but yeah, I'm over here in Florida. Um, I was living in Dallas for two years, three years ago. So it's been quite some time. Um, but I'm actually born and raised. I'm a, I'm a native Floridian, um, Duvalian, specifically North Florida. So um, yeah, I love the beach life. I'm a pescatarian. So the seafood suits me um and yeah I'm, I'm 28 so i don't feel like i'm old but uh, yeah i'm older how old are you now? but i'm still young so how old are you now sorry how old are you now i didn't catch that 28 yeah i'm 28 so mm -hmm. damn. like i said i don't feel like i'm old you're not I'm older you're not. You're but not. i don't feel like i'm young i mean no I, i'm still young i'm still young you know so well you know, 28 is an interesting one. I remember that one very distinctly. 28 is kind of like the pre, the pre game before 29, and then 29 it's like, whoa, this is like the last, of the my last 20s. bit of my 20s. Yeah, but so 28. That doesn't phase me though. <laughs> how has that felt like getting to 28? Has it felt like it just it just happened real quick, or it felt like dang, it took forever to get here? It does like it happened quick. Um, I feel like I, out of all of my friends, are I'm the only one that we're not old, you guys. We're still in our 20s. Like you're insane. Like we still have so much to do. And and they're like, oh God, you guys remember when we did this when we were kids? Like we were so old now. No, we are not. Like that's a ridiculous notion for me um, to fathom. So yeah, it, it happened kind of fast. Um, but like I said, I don't feel old. Um, but there have been times where I catch myself, you know, looking back on fond memories, like, you know, even our video, for example, and I'm like, geez, that was three years ago. Like, it does not even seem like that was that long ago. I don't know. So it's not like, crazy to you know, think about. On, on one of the videos, uh, not with you, but another point, uh, there's a part where these ladies are talking and we, I say like, what does it mean for it to be a woman doing this in 2018. I was like, oh crap, that was in 2018. You know, it's crazy. And you know, like you're, you're like, you weren't even, so you're not here anymore. And I was saying this earlier that I met you right as you're leaving. And and that's why mm -hmm. only those three times we hung out. And uh, man, if, if you would have been here, I'm sure we would have done well because prior to me, you were already in that world. You're already like, getting your feel for that world so oh yeah i've always been curious how, how did it start and when did it start and like what what does it mean to you now that you've done it um i think okay so i think when we met right it was was it in the spring 
It was an extreme in the fall, towards like the end of the year. I think it was towards the end of the summer. Yeah. Summer. Okay, so I think it was, it wasn't long, honestly, um, that I had been into it before I had met you. It probably, I want to say like six to eight months, okay. not even, because I was only in Dallas for two years and the first year was like, does not count really. So it was within that second year. Um, and then I really don't know exactly how it happened now. I don't really remember. I just, at the time I was going to all different kinds of events because growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, um, it's not as fun because you like Dallas have to get anywhere is like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and so as a kid, there's like nothing to do. It's just there's nothing to do. And in Dallas, it was a different world for me. There's always something to do every weekend. So I was always looking up different events and finding out what was happening. And I think I figured out that there was a body paint event coming. Um, and we had, they were like, a, they were taking applications for models. And so I, was, I figured, really? let me just give it a shot. Yeah. Wait, 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 just, there's actual like applications? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was <laughs> like an actual event in Deep Ellum where there were all different kinds of artists coming through, like yeah. from, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Skin Wars. From Skin Wars and just like everywhere, all over the yeah. country. So they were actually taking applications and getting information so that they can pair the artists with models. Um, so first I think I ran across the event when I was looking up like stuff to do and I was just like oh that sounds cool and when I was like <laughs> browsing through I saw they were taking applications and I was like sure what like you know why not let's just put it out there see what happens um and then it, I got accepted I guess um but when I went to the show chaos ensued and I ended up not getting paired um so I ended up meeting another artist who when she was done with her paired model worked on me and we became friends she lives in orlando florida so we still keep in touch she's only like two hours for me nice. and um yeah that kind of like from that event um it just it just kind of took off and i think it was pretty plain like just body paint exhibition um and so we just kind of like wandered uh it was a showcase so people came in and like wa watch us or looked at us like we were literally in a museum and then we kind of wandered the streets of downtown afterwards and just took in the the looks and and um you know what people were thinking of us and, and all of that so i thought it was fun i love it now that i've done it i think that everyone should because even if you have stretch marks or you don't feel confident about your body or yourself or whatever the case might be once that paint comes on you i cannot i really can't put into words the feeling of like liberation like you just feel so free and like empowered and just like you don't feel you know you're not wearing clothes but it doesn't look like it and it's just i don't know you just you're just so confident and I just, I get, I can't explain it properly into words, but I think it is a confidence boost that every person, not even just women should definitely do at one point or another, just to feel that different kind of sensation. So let me ask you this, uh, cause you started that journey before you met me. And then that, what we did was just a whole different thing. And, yeah. And um, so like prior to that, I guess, did you always feel like wanted to do something that would uh, incorporate your body and modeling? And is that something you've been in into? Like is modeling like a base? Like, is that something where the background is? Cause to do that, you must feel very comfortable. And, uh, and honestly, yes and no. I think body painting kind of kicked off modeling for me because um, long story short growing up i was overweight and then i lost all that weight in college moved to dallas like i've always wanted to get into you know modeling and this whole part of it just the artistry industry and um yeah once i finally had the opportunity to do and was doing good for myself like doing me really living in a new city um yeah i guess i kind of went full swing i've always been confident but I think, like I said, that empowerment, that liberation you get when when you're painted, add that to the confidence I already had, game over. So, that's so I've cool. kind of run with it. You know, that's so cool because like I, I talk about that to people, you know, I feel like 
it wasn't until like my third year in body painting, I realized that I empowered women when I painted them because it, it wasn't obvious. And then it was when I did Exotica at an event and I painted this older, uh, this bigger set woman. And before that, she was looking at me painting this other girl and her husband's like, come on, honey. And I overheard him and I was finishing up. I was like, ma'am, do you want to get painted? She's like, no, like people like me shouldn't get painted. I was like, people like you. I was like, man, it's called body paint. It's not called skinny paint. Yeah. Or, or just like the girls who said like, oh, my boobs are not big enough. I was like, it's not called breast paint. <laughs> you know, like it's called body paint and it comes in any shape and any size. And so I've, I've been in that side where I had to sweet light. And then after I painted her, which I painted like this nice corsage, like a, like a corset. And she was smiling and gushing. And yeah. it was like, I was like, oh, wow. Like, I just saw what I just did. And then I, I've also seen women that were in the down and the dumps. You know, they just got through, uh, go through an ugly breakup or divorce. And, you know, I, I'll make them feel like this. I've had, these are the words uh, that they said, Joe. I feel like a motherfucking superhero. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. It's like, because it's not even like me anymore. It's like a character of something, whatever the theme may be. Uh -huh. And so yeah. that that was the first time I, I caught on to that. And then I, I, I was seeing that it was a repetitive thing once I was aware of what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And that's that really made me feel more um, proud to be a body painter. Because I've gotten a lot of flack over the years, especially in the beginning, because back when I started, which I'm pushing 11 years now, it's still taboo, you know, especially like in, amongst like, like I couldn't have told my family like that. And now like, I remember they gave me so much crap. I told my parents, you know, I've, I've said this before and they're like, good luck finding someone to pay you to paint the naked idiot. And I was like, Psh. I've even had a woman try to convert me in, into her religion. And she's like, you need guidance, son. You, this is not good. This is not good, you should not be doing this. So uh, yeah, no, no. So I, I like that there is a positive aspect that I can highlight specifically. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, I just think body painting is so cool. And the fact that it's only on for one day, you know, it's, it's a speed painting, essentially, essentially, you got to paint that su uh, subject or that theme on that person within this time frame, And then after that, it's done. It's done. And all that hard work, if you didn't take a picture, well, I'll put it in the memory bank because that's the beautiful thing about body painting my eyes, man. It's that, that piece of art you make that you know, you know going into it, you're going to have to destroy it. There's a beauty to that. You know, there's a beauty to it knowing that this, this is not going to last. So make it count. Oh, yeah. I love seeing the, like, the buildup, you know? Yes. Like seeing everything happen and then the final product. So yes, I was so I was telling newbies, I was like, it's a process. Just when you think you think it's gonna be that, it's not. Just wait, just just wait. Oh, be patient. Yeah. And they're like, oh my god, Joe, you're right. Oh my gosh. I, at one point I was like, oh, this is it. And then I was like, oh no, no, it's not it, it's not it. I'm like, yeah, man, when I say it's done, that's when it's it. <laughs> like yeah. it's it's funny because you know, you do require patience. A good, a good, I always tell this, if my model is so cool and chill and vibe and isn't pressing on me, like, like yo, I gotta, I gotta go. Like, if we're just vibing, you're gonna get the best out of me. You know, I hate, uh, you know, luckily I, I nowadays I, I choose my everything, my gigs, my models for the most part, but there are times when I don't. And in the beginning, there's times I didn't. And I thought it was, oh, cool, I don't have to worry about getting models, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, diva, 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 diva. I'm like, Mm. And they're like, no, 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 not my face, not my face. I want them to see my face. I'm like, this is not what it's about, dude. Like, you are a canvas. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's like, it. Exactly. Like, this isn't like people know you. If you're beautiful, they already know this. This is just another thing you're doing. Like, they don't need to know on this one that you're beautiful too. They probably know that already. <laughs> you know, like, it, it, it's crazy what society's like. You know, and like that's one thing I enjoyed about you, Alexis, is that. Um, you were just chill. You, you were so easy peasy and, and it was it was just a, a good vibes and especially like our short encounter that hey you wanna get painted? Sure. Boom. Next thing you know, it's done and it's like looking back like wait that 
we've only met three times. And the second <laughs> time was just to meet to talk about the painting. Yeah. <laughs> but the, that's what makes this video even better, you know, uh, that it's not only standing through the test of time, but it's, it's kind of like, how can you not remember that day? Because, you know, 2.4 million people don't still still watching it. So how does that feel? Well, let me ask you this. Let me, let me, let me preface this with saying, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but so I haven't spoken to Alexis since that project. Unfortunately, she was, she moved, then she got into a relationship and then um, the rest, who knows, but she did not know that this video went viral. And I was like, hey, that's kind of a cool surprise to like, hey, I'm popping. I didn't even know that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, you've been in like another platform and so didn't realize you were kicking off on YouTube. And so now that you know this, and she, by the way, she just found this out earlier today. Um, I just divulged that information. I've been trying to arrange this for a week ago, but our schedule's in the line. But so now that I've given this information, Alexis, how does that feel, first of all? Insane. I was like, that's the closest thing, like viral, like through you is the closest thing I've gone ever. So that's trust me, awesome. it was viral because of you, not because of me. You know, because well, even still, even you even you know, yeah, but even even you know this. Like I always tell people they don't believe me. I'm like, when I do these experiments, people literally have want to not really talk to me. They just want to talk to you about. So how did you do it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let her let her tell me. <laughs> like, that's so funny. Oh, no, like, that was insane, though. Seeing your text and like, oh, like, went viral. Hello? I haven't looked at the video since you posted it three years uh, ago, either. Hold on. Uh, you just broke off for like 20 seconds. Damn. Oh, uh, OK. What was the last thing you heard? Um. This morning, so this morning you I, found uh, out. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. So what was the last thing you heard? You said this morning it cut off. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, no. Well, yeah, this morning when you texted me and said that, you know, wanted to do the interview tonight because we went viral, I was like, I had to second, I had like double, what is it called? I had to like do a double take on myself because yeah, uh -huh. it's like what like a viral i was like i didn't even know i haven't looked at this video since you posted it three years ago i yeah. literally had to go back to your page find the video well no um, i had i had to say i had to tell you there was a new page i was like dude it's not even in the page you thought it was well exactly well that yeah. too because i was like i'm pretty sure i subscribed to him before so yeah, but you, anyway. are, you, you are you are just gonna see a bunch of art videos now on that one yeah well so, so yeah, like I was telling uh, people in the past, I, I started this channel literally a year ago. And so I put all the content that I was wanting to put uh, just on this channel for body paint because uh, I felt it's best to separate that from the art and just have those two deal, two entities be on its own. So uh, when I was loading these, you know, that's why people were like, hey, why, why aren't they wearing masks? Like six feet, set apart. And it's like, oh crap. So I had to like give all this information like, hey, yeah, this kind of happened three years ago, pre-pandemic. But that at that point, you already moved. And so I was thinking about that and I was like, oh, shit, like she had no idea. She had no idea. And, you know, like people are asking about you. And that's why I was like, I need to talk to Alexis because, first of all, I want to catch up. And secondly, her friends need to find her. And. And uh, so Alexis, now that we're talking and we're catching up, you know, in a, in a little bit, we're gonna do some hot takes on the video. Uh, but what, what, uh, what do you, what is your thing that you're, you see you have to do business. What is it that you got going on right now? What are some things that I might not know about you that you're up to? Oh yeah. Um, well, so I work full time as a recruiter, just that's, income right but um on the side i have my own two businesses i've started one is um puppies i breed puppies. actually many australian shepherd puppies oh so nice. i have a bunch of little doggies <laughs> running around um and yeah we're kind of on a break right now just got um 
you know, just got rid of our last litter. Not got rid sounds so bad, but we just sent all of our last litter to their new homes. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we won't have another one till like next year. So I'm refocusing on the first business I ever started actually, um, which has really just been on Etsy, just super side gig. Uh, but it's working with like crystals and sage and, and all that, um, cosmic, um, spiritual and then energy type work and products. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to be at a few markets and we'll see how that goes, but I'm keeping myself busy and it's about to be summer in Florida. So if anything, I'll have the beef. Uh, so these businesses that you have going on, uh, what that sounds time consuming. sounds like you probably haven't been doing much of the modeling stuff. Is that something you're trying to get back into? Is that something, yes. what, do, what do you have aside from that social media wise, what are you trying to do? What are you, what are you trying to do? Um, I'm honestly, I've been building my TikTok. I've been taking it easy though. Like no pressure. Like if it, if it grows, if I get a following, I get a following. If I don't like no big deal kind of thing. Um, but I have been doing TikTok actually, um, all of the COVID, like well, pretty much all of 2020, I did not download TikTok. I refused. Um, my friends all had it and I was just holding out as long as I could, because sure enough, as soon as I did, I got addicted and now I'm making videos too. So of course that happened. Um, but yeah, I'm on there. It's my full name, Alexis Kostecki. My last name is, um, it can be a little tricky for some people. So we can figure that out, but I'm also on Instagram. Um, and that's just really where I showcase any of my modeling stuff or lately really just like fun and fun times with friends and outings, which is your typical IG. So um, I am trying to get back into a more regular um, schedule, I guess, a more regular schedule with modeling like I used to be. Um, there is one photographer here in, in Florida that I've been dying to work with. So really, it's just going to be working with him on his schedule. And that will kind of be what I think I'm going to be doing to kind of kick my modeling off again is working with him his shoes that's so cool. and, you know that's that's on another thing uh, to highlight that you mentioned is that especially when you collaborate or you work with someone that you really want to work with it, it makes for a better piece you know like one thing is to do it and one thing is to do it with passion and anything you do with passion is always going to end up with a great product and that's one thing people need to realize is that if you're going to start building content or make stuff that are for modeling or, or whatever it may be. You, you want to go about it the right way. You want to plan out who you want to shoot with, what do you want the message to be, what do you kind of look you're trying to do, and how, what what level are we trying to achieve? Are we trying to get from intermediate to give it a kind of a professional look or whatever? So. I always thought that, uh, like, uh, I, when I saw your pages uh, when I first met, I was like, oh, wow, like, she's very diverse. It wasn't just body painting. It was, you know, you're doing, like, I don't know, like, cosplay or themed, like, photo shoots, and you were just killing it. And uh, I was like, wait, of course I found this out, and she just left. So, you know, uh, there's a cool thing about you. And so for the guys that have been asking about meeting you and wanting to see you and what, know more about you, that's uh, – that's something they can definitely look forward to seeing in the future. So on your TikTok, what's your TikTok, yes. by the way? What's your TikTok, by the way? Alexis Kostecki. So yeah, the Kostecki is my last name. K-O-S-T-E-C-K-I. Okay. But um, hopefully so, we can drop it on there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, and then, um, so let's do some hot takes. Let's talk about the video. Yeah. Let's talk about the video. Let me see if I can pull, I if I can pull it up. I sent it to my mom earlier um, after I rewatched it mm -hmm. and she was just like, who is that? Where did you go? What, how did, how did he do this? How did you do that? And she loved it. Oh, really? And when I first, oh yeah. When I first got into body painting, she was definitely one of those, those people that were kind of wary and should you be doing this? Um, but I've, um, I've worked on her. And she understands now that, you know, it's really my, um, 
it's my it's my version of art it's my way of kind of expressing myself through all of your art like you and other artists i work with so so cool. wait so oh wait so oh, i'm sorry because i was making first of all uh, can you see the screen yeah okay we're cool. good so what was your wait what's your mom say about me <laughs> my mom is a character okay no, but um, she, when I showed her the video, I had to rewatch it after you sent it to me and said it was viral earlier. Cause I was like, I don't even remember everything yeah, like from the video. Years. Exactly. So um, yeah, I rewatched it and I sent it to her. I was like, pretty cool. Uh, this happened and I'm going to talk with Joe again tonight. Like it's pages and she watched it and she was just like, where did you go? How did he paint you? How did he do this? How did you do that? Who's the guy in the red shirt? Like what is, like she was just firing away questions and whenever I first got into body painting, she wasn't like anti body painting, but she was definitely more cautious. Like she's Filipino, they're very conservative and all of her friends, basically all the Philippines on standby. And so I pretty much had to work on her to make sure she knew that like it wasn't what it looked like or what they thought it was. Like there's more depth to what I was doing. So they had this um, idea. And so now she's fine, yeah. she's into it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's so, you know, it's funny because like, so, because I, I talk about this a lot and maybe you could shed some light. When I, I always tell people like, especially when like women want to date me and, and they find out about body painting and, and they don't know anything about it. And they're like, oh, I don't know, man, I don't know. And it's like, what do you think goes on, dude? <laughs> like, what do, what do you like? And then like, I'll invite them to like a, a thing that I'm doing. And they're like, oh, wow, it was not what I thought it was. I was like, what did you think I was doing? <laughs> like. Is that, is you think that, it was like the Titanic, we're gonna lay down naked and you'll just paint where you choose? Like, no, no. it's not how it works. I, I have that, I've had that with people too, but there have always, I've had a lot of girls too that have questioned, um, you know, like, don't you feel like with all like people watching you and guys like creeping and look, and I was like, yeah, I mean, you do have that sometimes at events, like you will have a guy or two or a person or two that, um, kind of stares too long or lingers too long or takes a little bit too many, you know, pictures. Um, but the cool thing is that they usually do have a good or, um, like, you know, a good team behind you. Um, and they're always, uh, or like the mom are always being put first as far as making you feel secure and safe. So, um, I kind of try to use that to reassure women who are thinking about getting into it because there's more, um, there's, there's more, uh, defenses than flags if you will. Definitely. Okay, so now that we kind of got that, let's segue to the actual video and yeah. I'm gonna pick some moments. Oh man. That is wild. Do you remember this? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, your mom saw this. <laughs> Oh yeah. She asked me, she was like, how did, how were you covered? <laughs> what was it? I was like, it was a sticker. <laughs> oh yeah, like, uh, strap this pants. <laughs> strap this pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's meant to be worn and taken off and to be painted on. Or, you know, oh yeah. Easy. Yeah. So um, when you were getting painted on this, this, was this the first time you do anything like this as far as like clothing? Um, no, actually, it was, it was my first pair of jeans. Okay. But I've done the <laughs> top before. <laughs> okay, so you've done the top. And yeah. when this was uh, happening, because you saw the other, the other girls I painted. So did you have mm -hmm. an idea how this was going to look before you did it? Or, or what, what came to mind when you said yes to this project? But why did you say yes to this project, first of all? Especially Honestly, at that time, like any anyone that wanted to paint me, I was down. Like I went to an event and I met a bunch of different artists and they were looking for people to practice on. I was like, I'm down. I just wanted like, I loved the feeling and I wanted to like, shoot, I can't be mad at the pictures either. So I was like, yes, whoever wants to take, whoever wants to take, let me know, basically. Oh, um, but when I saw the other models video that you mentioned, I, from what I remember, I just, remember seeing her like basically having her pictures being taken on a roof um i don't really remember her like interacting with the public um so i knew we were gonna go outside and i thought that was cool but um i i didn't have a whole idea of really what to expect and 
I'm kind of glad I didn't, honestly. Oh, wow. And what, so you're glad you didn't what, interact with people? Yeah, like I didn't, ex I guess I, I didn't Tuna, expect that because yes. I don't remember seeing that in her video, but I don't mind. I loved it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I think it was cool because it was one of those things that when does someone do that? Like the experience kind of like a bucket list right. item, right? Like I would put it out there, like for someone to just paint their whole body, have a little sticker on them and that's it. And off to the races you know uh, I, I always enjoy when we go on the ubers <laughs> they have no idea every time i always get a little chuckle in me i'm like they had no idea for the most part like no clue, no clue you know and you know you know my other videos i will we entertain the conversations and you know like oh yeah so i'm going to new york for the weekend I'm like, oh nice i know uh -huh, uh -huh. but um when when you did this um what was it what was the experience that, uh, first of all, how, what was, walk, walk, walk me through your experience since you were the one. Yeah, well, first, I think I remember the reason why I kept the sweater on was because the sticker on the back, already like the second we went outside, I think it was like hot and the sticker was peeling off and it was windy on top of it somehow. I, there were just a lot of different factors. So I remember there, there was an actual reason why I covered up that part of the art. I was thinking okay. about that earlier, but, um, but aside from that, it was also like, good. I, thought it was cool. I also thought it was a good accessory, uh, an accessory. Like, uh, yes. cause I started doing that shortly after with the other girls is like, they, we started using little backpacks, putting belts over it, boots on, like we got creative. Once I saw that, I was like, okay, let me try it on the other girls. And um, it, it was something cool. So here we are in this part of town called Deep Elm. And, you know, it looks like no one really had issues with you, man. And, and I think uh, that's the thing I always tell people, they're always gonna wanna take pictures. Oh yeah, they loved it. I think this was the first place we stopped at, I think. I think so too. And. There are like a few reunions happening too. So the bars were actually pretty crowded that day. And every time we, we like went from one bar to the other, it was, there were, there was, there, there were some crowds out there. <laughs> no, definitely. And so, you know, like this was a very hot day too. That's another thing people don't understand yeah. is the, uh, Texas can be very humid and hot when it wants to be. And uh, this was kind of one of those days where uh, I was very surprised that the paint held up as much as it even did. Oh, her, that, that, that she was you, hilarious. What your mom say about her? <laughs> the, the, that, well, that's when she saw Clay and she was like, who's the guy in the red shirt? Oh, yeah. I'm like, the funny thing is I met him that day. Like I met him a few hours. Like, right, like, it's cool, mom. This, so. it's, it's a neighbor. It's cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And no, this is the I, third I, time I, meeting him too. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I still talk to him from time to time too. Like randomly, we'll like, catch, like, hey, how's it going? He's like, living his best life married with kids or whatever now so nice. good for him yeah but... definitely yeah he just, <laughs> yeah, my mom he was just like, Who's that? <laughs> yeah he just moved recently he just had his baby uh shout out to clay there you seeing go. this you yeah know, he too was in this video so shout out to clay yes. so um you know uh yeah, always, clay. always always a fun one like everyone's like talking about like man like you know like they're giving their hot takes and she said like you know, good for you. And then it's always funny, like to get other women's reactions. Like someone would say, I wouldn't do this, but this is cool. Or, you know, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's so Oh funny. my gosh. And this lady right here. Oh, earlier I watched her, what she said. And I almost smacked myself because I was like, how did I let her get away with saying that? How, um, hey, I do don't mean? know if you want to. Yeah, wait, wait, let's, we're doing hot takes. Yeah, go back. Okay, what moment? The, her right here, yes. Where she asks about her doing What do you feel about that? How do, how do, how do you feel about her doing that? You know what? I think it's pretty dope because me, man, my stretch marks is not doing it. But the fact that you got the body and you can do it, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. What's the point of being negative? It moves different ways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you have clothes, everything's 
exciting when you don't have clothes, you know, everything's free flowing. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one made my night. I think leading and those guys were like, she had no idea. Oh, my God. Remember that part? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, guys, this is uh, the door. Like, oh, door. These are the door people. Yeah. <laughs> he ate it up, and she was just like, oh, shit. I don't know. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and I think that was like the perfect way to end the night. And I was like, oh, dope. Like, nice reaction, clean moments, yeah. you know. A lot, a lot and you of see the guy at the end, like, like oh shit yeah and, and that's the thing like people they uh they always ask um this is this is not real right like they're right they're in on it i'm like no like no it's always yeah. let's see what happens and it, and sometimes it's more busier than the other times it's also the time of the day you know this was uh during a hot day so it wasn't that but even for this for uh, the time they were out i thought it was amazing um it, it, uh, do you remember you got kicked out you got kicked out we we got kicked oh yeah we got what was oh, it hey. called? green green something machine okay so that was crazy so um so now that that it's been some time that you haven't seen it and kind of just refresh your memory today do you regret doing it Oh, hell no. Never. I'll do it again. I told you, just let me know. We're going to plan. I'm going to fly over and we'll have round two. Yeah, man. Or vice versa. I, I've been meaning uh, soon, probably after my show, I've been uh, meaning to do it somewhere outside of Dallas. I've been in a Fort Worth, been it in. Oh I would love to take it. We can go to the beach. Oh, that would be even better. Oh, That'd yeah. Be something, something to plan for. Their options, yeah. Yeah. So you don't regret it. What was your takeaway from that experience? Doing for that, because so, it was it was a social experiment. Mm -hmm. you know, there was it was meant for a purpose. You know, it wasn't just about getting painted, right? So uh, going into this, you knew that you knew what their experiences was, and now that you had your own experience, looking back, what was your takeaway? Um, well, I thought it was pretty cool because every. Every other uh, body painting event I had done leading up to it, you really are displaying the art. Like after you're done, you either walk around the venue or, you know, stay in one spot and people, you know, view the art. Uh, well, since we kind of, you know, we, we went out and made our own little experience, I was able to, you know, actually see people's reactions. And whereas when I'm at an event or in an event, like at, an event, at a venue, um, that I really can't always see what, you know, I love seeing people's reactions and I can't always see it because I'm like, I'm in character, you know? And so it was just casual, um, you know, hanging out in Dallas. And I liked that I was actually able to see it for myself and hear it for myself and just interact with people rather than just having to like stand and be there and just, you know, display really. So that was cool. That was my takeaway. I don't have any regrets ever. So I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. You know, like it's it, it always fun to look back and ask the women that were partaking in this experiment. And, you know, I asked Haley, I asked uh, the other girls that I painted and the other stuff. And, you know, with you, I didn't, never really got to like get that, you know, like feedback because right? you kind of just, all right, see you. <laughs> I'm out. Oh. And, um, you know, talking to you, man, it, it, it's crazy because it doesn't feel like been three years and you know, know that's 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 the thing i do enjoy about body painting is that i do meet a lot of people and not everyone i meet is someone that i i uh i feel like i got a good, good vibe and a good little connect for that moment but you were you were definitely in that group where even those those three times it was it was cool man i was like the first time was like oh they're like such a sweetheart helping me out and this weird mix up didn't even know who i was didn't even know if i was good just some random dude trying to paint some boobs and next you know you're getting painted by me and uh, we do this wild experiment and i you know people always ask me am i going to do this again and i'm like yeah but you know I, I have more to offer you know like i i do plan on doing this again 
you know, I do want to showcase my other skill sets and other things like, uh, I really enjoy doing this, this where I get to talk to the model because I feel like sometimes the consumer or the viewer are so stuck on the looks that they don't really get to know like, hey, you know, they, aside from being pretty, like, they're pride, they're kind of funny, they're kind of witty, they're smart. You? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like they got talents, you got side businesses, you don't know. And that's the cool thing about meeting uh, people like you, where it's for this event or you know, this occasion, this paint. And for that time that we're hanging out, I'm going to find out this much about you, you'll find out this much about me. And yeah. that's it. But I, I always felt that uh, I, I didn't, you were always a mysterious one to me because. I, I didn't really get to know much about you other than, hi, my name's Alexis. I, I, I've been getting into body paint. Oh, by the way, I'm moving. <laughs> like, bye. Um, bye. So I think it's cool, man. I think, because um, I think it's good to let people know, like about, I guess I want to call it body painting awareness, like body painting positivity, body positivity. This, this was, you know, oh, people yeah. always make it seem like it's sexual. And it's not, there's, know. you know, like I always tell people like, okay, guys, especially for this event, and you would be a testimony for this because I didn't even paint you. For the extreme body painting event, we had X amount of hours to do the most extreme thing on the model. Mm -hmm. When the hell is someone gonna try to flirt with a girl and get it in when they're supposed to be making the dopest piece for everyone to view? And people don't realize that th that pressure it puts for me at least. Oh man, I get I get I can like weight on my shoulder. Like, oh shit, I got oh I got expectations. Oh, yeah. I got to deliver. Like, I've painted over. Oh yeah, I painted over four hundred girls at this point. I, I I'm sorry to say this, but beauty is beauty. I'm not gonna be taken back and not work. No, work is work because this beauty yeah. is gonna add on to it. I'm gonna accentuate what's already there by adding my skill. And to me, it's it's about the art, man. I think uh, I've heard people have some weird experiences and all that stuff, and it's like it's kind of sad to hear about it sometimes. Because it's like I know, yeah, but you know, it is a risk, and, and that's why I always thought it was cool. Like I feel like you took a risk getting to uh, do not only talk to me but get painted by me in such a short time, and and I just wanted to say thanks, man. And what if I may ask, like, what what led to that? What what made you feel cool with that? Yeah, I mean, well, I, okay, when I said earlier that I'll, anyone that wanted to pay me, I would let them, that's obviously to an extent, I still do my research, because as a model, you do have to be more wary and cautious of who you're working with, um, at least to make sure that, you know, the artist, photographer, whoever it is you're working with or wanting to work with, has some credibility to their name, right? Um, and so after we met and we had that whole um, situation at Extreme where you were, you know, needing help and there was all the chaos and whatever we finally painted. But either way, we spent a lot of the time earlier in the day with setup. And so, you know, got familiar with you. I thought you were cool. Um, and then I think by the end of the night, either way, at one point we made sure that we like exchanged numbers. Or I think I got your card or something. And that's when I was at, like, I looked you up and I was like, okay, cool. Like, it's actually pretty good too. And I saw all the model that you did at the event. So when we connected to hang, cause I'm like you, I love meeting new people at events, but I also, you know, connected them afterwards, stay in touch. Like we've been. And so once that happened, we got to talking and I guess I did my research. Um, I was like, yeah, if you want me, I'm down, like sign me up. So as soon as we were able to back connection, yeah, man, I you appreciate know, that. Led you know, to another. It's Here and, we that, that, and that's true, like because you know, like you want to make sure also that I think a lot of people have been in this situation where like someone says, "Hey, I'm a body painter. Are you painting? Cool." And then like, "Oh yeah, I don't have anything yeah. on me, but I'm I'm good." And they see another go in there, and like, "What the fuck is he painting on me?" <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've heard of stories where like, dude, I thought I was gonna get a bomb ass piece, and it's like. Like, I'm just kicking myself, like, wanting to leave. And it's like, yeah, do your research. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't walk into it blindly, especially when oh, yeah. you're going to give up an like, X amount of time of your day. And that's not even just body painting. That's just models in general, photographers in general. Especially um, that's just 
anyone oh, has yeah. a camera, exactly. anyone has a camera, mm -hmm. it's automatically the best thing since Maxim Magazine. I don't know. Oh yeah, save and that. Have you had <laughs> so overall? Have you had good experiences with like photographers? Yeah, I've been lucky. I think that um, well, I wouldn't even say it's just luck. Like I said, I do my research. Um, and plus, I think that once you really are in at least this, the body painting world, even more specifically, everyone kind of does know each other, or at least by extension. Um, there, so oh, there's similar circles, people run in some circles, or right, maybe, yeah, or sub circles, and you know, know each other or of each other mm -hmm. through, you know, yeah. a Kevin so kind of like, kind kind of, kind of like when you're talking about, when you're talking about the whole skin wars, like, I actually know, because of some people I've uh, worked with in the past know like Avi Ram and French and like the, the uh, I've met Nick Herrera like all these people and when they're in town and do yeah. these, uh, workshops they'll send out invites to me and I, I unfortunately I don't do them because I, my ego's like you need to hold your workshops yeah. <laughs> but it's cool that they touch touch in like yo bro come take this workshop and it's cool but I, I like to be in my own path you know but um, I think it's cool those guys they're yeah. talented they're very talented I, I just never, you know, the, by the time I had some time to actually try out these shows, they weren't around anymore. So I told myself the next time there's a show, I'm going to audition. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. So if you want to be on a show, you know. <laughs> what do you got going on in the future? Anything exciting? Is there something, a goal you're working towards? Uh, what do you get goals wise? You know, I always, I always talk about having goals. I, I Even my part time job as a plastic surgeon, it's always telling me, what are your three goals for the day? If you were gonna say you had a goal that you've been thinking about, you wanna uh, get into fruition, what would it be? Yeah, I mean, I don't um, I don't really set like timelines for myself, um, but I do have some stuff, some goals and everything that I'm working on. Um, obviously I do have, like I said, my side businesses, so I'm trying to grow those and eventually, hopefully I can just do those full time, um, you know, working with puppies and, and working with my my crystals and jewelry and, and diy diy um oh, a lot of the wait, energy wait 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 we need to talk about them crystals then because i have zero I, I i didn't even know this i thought i mentioned this earlier no there's times we're cut off remember they might have been oh okay so yeah so i yeah i have two businesses i started um one is breeding puppies right many australian shepherds um, we just had our second litter. We won't have another one um, till next year. So that is on hiatus, just playing with puppies right now. Um, and then the other one I'm working on in the meantime is actually the one I started first. Uh, really only operated it on Etsy, but I'm actually going to be bringing it to some local like pop-up markets at the beach and just around town to kind of, you know, just see if it will be lucrative at all, really just try something else out. But for that, I work with crystals and like sage smudge sticks, uh, like, um, keychains, stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, very different polar opposite kind of uh, businesses, but yeah, it keeps me, keeps me busy. So that sounds so cool. Sounds oh, like and, and aside from that, I'm trying to get a house. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to, to buy my own place, like not rent, buy my own house once everything calms down a little bit um have my own side businesses going yeah. and might wanna, you might want to wait a little bit the market's pretty high right? oh no i am trust me i am I've you, heard, you heard about the cost of lumber jeez you know it's already 25 percent of people my age that bought a house during covid without even looking at the place making an offer without getting any inspections done and 25 percent are already regarding the decision Blind like, duh, buying. I yeah idiot i would I never do that the people that rent an apartment without ever touring it like they're coming from new jersey to cali like yeah look good uh, i'm like oof. for convenience god and then they're on the second floor take the trip. And neighbors yeah because they didn't want to take the trip spend a little money make sure that that's what they want mm -hmm. no plus spring is like the worst time spring summer is the worst time to buy a house on top of like the market yeah. right now because of you know the summer like before school goes back and you know it's just seller's market so oh wow well alexis i think um this was an awesome catch-up man i think uh i think this was cool i think uh, i'm just happy that we were able to reconnect it, it's it makes it more special knowing that you are you were unaware 
now that you're aware, it's like, okay, cool. You know, because I, I look forward to these Zooms now. Uh, you know, at first, I, I don't know if you saw the previous one, but I, I mentioned that I was going to see how, they, how this worked. You know, because thing about COVID, it kind of, you know, made Zoom popular. And, you know, a lot of these people that I knew don't want to live here or they're separated. And Zoom was able to bring this. And I, I like that I can talk to you even though you're no longer here. And I can literally on real time catch up, see your face, beautiful as always. Thank and you. Um, I want to say, I want to work with you again. And uh, vice versa, you come down and I go up there. There's actually something I want to do, but I won't be able to do because of my solo shows in the fall. I've always wanted to do Fantasy Fest. Key West. Ooh. Yes. I, I won't be able to do it because yeah. this is a special announcement. The Vanity Solo Show is, has been moved to October. So no. that's around the time of year that happens. And then, yeah. So I would like to have more preparation, but maybe the following, I could do that with you. You know? Maybe something to look yeah. into. I mean, we got time, definitely. <laughs> so yeah. we can definitely like plan it out. I'll have to, whether I'm there or you're here, like I just need enough time to get a ticket. So oh yeah, definitely, either definitely. way, I'm sure it'll happen. No, of course. And um, so for everyone that uh, wants to find you once again on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media outlets, what are your handles? Once again. Yeah. So on Instagram, um, super easy. It's Alexis B K O S T. Alexis B Coast. Um, uh, it, uh, TikTok and Twitter. It's my full name, Alexis Kostecki. Um, and then if you want to pop it up or insert it, because it can be difficult to spell if you're not looking at it. Um, yeah. I'm not on Twitter so much. Really, Instagram and. Oh yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, yeah, same here. For and, sure. Um, so I want to say, uh, everyone, I hope that everyone has appreciated this special segment of the Night Shift Body Art Talk with Alexis. You know, she was very highly requested. I like to try to make people happy and get the people they want to see. I, I will have uh, people of the past come back on. So please know that I will uh, always have an open door to come back and talk and catch up with us. And yeah, hopefully in the future, uh, we will collaborate again and make some awesome art. Yeah. I hope so too. Thanks so much for having me, Drew. I can't thank you all enough. I had no idea I went viral at all. So that was pretty cool. And the fact that anyone was requesting to know more about me um, yeah. is, is humbling and flattering as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I look forward to seeing what else we can do in the future. Yes, ma'am. And with that, guys, this is a wrap. We are out. Okay. See you later. So.